sunset and the night is on when the darkness falls and the light is gone you be my light o oh lord and lead me on you be my light o oh lord and lead me on when i'm growing weak and my steps are slow when the hopes are bleak and i've strength no more you be my strength o oh lord and lead me In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And, and with your spirit. Welcome, hearty welcome to the Eucharist on this Wednesday, my dear brothers and sisters. Uh, Wednesday is the day of Our Lady. We pray to Our Lady, the Navina. Uh, say it privately if you can. Let's begin the sacrifice now. First of all, thinking of our intentions. Uh, Thanksgiving for Mrs. Pereira and family and for blessings received. For repose of soul, there are seven. My grandmother, DeMello, 40th anniversary. My uncle, Marshall Lemos. Soul of Alex, 40th death anniversary on the 13th of October, Alex Gonsalves. My mother, Iris Agnella Fernandez, third death anniversary, 17th of October. Birth anniversary of my late grandmother, October 17th. Gracie Patrick, soul of Dominic de Lima, 31st death anniversary, 17th October, soul of Cynthia Fernandez, 2nd death anniversary, 18th of October, 20th of October, soul of Mr. Jacob Prakash. For good health, spiritual well-being, good health for the family, for my mum, suffering from IBS for a long time. Good job and studies. Daughter gets a permanent letter, settled down in a job. Extension of my own offices and the services in the company. My sister and brother may pass exams with good marks. Marriage and family for my fiancee to reunite with me. Occasion of birthdays and anniversaries. My daughter, Melreen, birthday 15th of October. My sister, Olinda de Gama, 16th October. My mum, Hedwig Fernandez, 85 years of age, 16th of October, happy birthday. Venita and John, 42nd wedding anniversary. Niece, Annabella Sequera, birthday. My brother, Clarence Disa, 20th October. My grandson, Stefan Vaz, birthday, 20th October. My husband, uh, Rogation Kankaraj Rubin, 70th birthday, 21st October. My sister, birthday, Wednesday, 20th October, and for my village house to be sold. Pray for all these intentions, and we ask God now to have forgiveness, give, grant us forgiveness for our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You come to make all things new, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Your almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please sit for the reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, let not sin reign in your mortal body 
to make you obey its passions. Do not present your members to sin as instruments for unrighteousness, but present yourself to God as those who have been brought from death to life, and your members to God as instruments for righteousness. For sin will have no dominion over you, since you are not under law, but under grace. What then? Are we to sin because we are not under law, but under grace? By no means. Do you not know that if you present yourself to anyone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one whom you obey, either of sin, which leads to death, or of obedience, which leads to righteousness? But thanks be to God that you who were once slave of sin have become obedient from the heart to the standard of teaching to which you were committed and having been set free from sin have become slaves of righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response is, our help is in the name of the Lord. Altogether, our help is in the name of the Lord. If the Lord has not been on our side, let Israel say, if the Lord had not been on our side when people rose against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their anger was kindled? Our response, our help is in the name of the Lord. Then would the waters have engulfed us, the torrent gone over us, over our head would have swept the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who did not give us a prey to their teeth. Our response, our help is in the name of the Lord. Our life like a bird has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Indeed, the snare has been broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our response, our help is in the name of the Lord. Kindly stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Stay awake and be ready. The Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At this time... Jesus said to his disciples, Know this, that if the master of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would not have left his house to be broken into. You must also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Peter said, Lord, are you telling this parable for us or for all? The Lord said, Who then is the faithful and wise manager whom his master will not set over his household to give them their portion of food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master will find so doing when he comes. Truly I say to you, he will set him over all his possessions. But if that master servant says to himself, my master is delayed in coming, and begins to beat the male and female servants, and to eat, and to drink, and get drunk, the master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him, at all he does not know and will cut him in pieces, put him with the unfaithful. That servant who knew his master's will, but did not get ready or act according to his will, will receive a severe beating. But the one who did not know and did what deserved a beating will receive a light beating. Everyone to him much was given 
of him much will be required. From him to whom they entrusted much, they will demand the more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the first reading from chapter 6 of Romans, uh, again, I was reading some commentaries, etc., debate, reflection on this, and they keep on saying that these are the most uh, deep reflections of Paul in the whole Old Testament. But for us, it's important to understand what Paul is saying really is the whole essence of theology. Through one man, sin entered the world, Adam, our forefather. We belong to that family which sinned. And through one man, now we are redeemed, Jesus. And so we should feel united with Jesus, redeemed by him, live according to him, live with him in ourselves. That really is this whole section of Romans. Uh, the, this has been commented a lot by theologians, Catholic theologians, Protestant theologians, and sometimes different interpretations, but uh, basically it's about our redemption. The gospel passage again, got so much to reflect on when you read it over and over again. And uh, Peter asks, Jesus an interesting question. He says that Jesus tells them about uh, you must be ready, the master will come, etc. And, and if you are not ready, you will get a beating. And Peter finally asking, are you telling it to us apostles only, this is a small message, or is it to the whole church? And in effect, Jesus uh, tells him that it's meant for everybody, but in different ways. And in a way, it's telling Peter his own responsibility. He was chosen as the head of the church. The apostles were chosen as the leaders of the church, the first college of apostles. And, uh, and then Jesus afterwards gives the principle, to whom much is given, much more is expected. You are in a position of responsibility, and therefore you are more accountable than the others. Others are according to what their responsibility. So at first reading, it might appear Jesus saying, no, I'm speaking to everybody. No, he is telling Peter that you are more accountable than others. You are more responsible. And he gives the principle, to much was given, of him much will be required. You, Peter, to you much was given. You were with me. I taught you. I chose you to be the rock. And therefore, much more of responsibility. That's really a principle for all of us. And I was reflecting, sisters and brothers, each of us has got responsibility according to where we work, our education, circumstances. Me as bishop, I've got greater responsibility for the faith of the people than, than others have who have got not, not the spiritual responsibility. I was thinking of politicians. They are put in charge. They've got greater responsibility to lead the people right, not to mislead the people. The people who are in uh, charge of law and order, administrators, they have a greater responsibility. So each one of us must see uh, what is our responsibility. Have we fulfilled it? Are we building the kingdom of God? Uh, just on Sunday we began the synodal process. A time for us also to reflect how we can make the church more a church. Make the church more like what Jesus wants of it. Make the church really uh, the face of Jesus, compassion, Justice, truth, honesty. Uh, all of us are living here, and many of you have got the opportunity uh, to be part of different associations, sodalities, family cells. You are great, more responsible. The more you have learned, the more you know, the greater responsibility and power you have, the more you're accountable. Let us pray to Jesus to help us uh, to see our lives and to see how we could become his better disciples. We are redeemed by him, as first uh, reading says. Let us be united with him also in redemption. God bless you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Your goodness for this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, 
it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in his divinity, who humbled himself to share in our divinity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness of this wine which we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to be pleased. Receive the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my sins, cleanse me from my iniquity. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Father in heaven. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, you may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. So in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. 
bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who've died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be quested on our life, praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, to you, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be all glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence of the Father in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ and your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you, to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O divine guest, Give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age prepared for the gifts that are eternal. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Master, let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. God bless each one of you, and have a lovely day. I'll see you tomorrow, and we'll pray for these intentions. Keep well. Prayer for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. 
we come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak for a healing of those affected for the victims and their families we thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine we pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic and be available to all we pray for doctors nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts we pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people we make this prayer through Christ our lord amen just to fix eyes on jesus who has fought the good fight to the end and to be the grain that's fallen to the crown to die and rise again this is my sacrifice and open your i pray you lord i come to do your will you lord i come to do your will this is my sacrifice and open your i pray you lord i come to do your will you lord i come to do your will